Hi, this is Thomas from Jim and Auto Recycling. Today I'm going to show you how to fix the volume knob issue that's known uh, to happen to the E46 3 Series. This one's broken. You can hear it. You can see it moving. It doesn't press when you press it, so you can't turn it off, or if it's off, you can't turn it on. So the solution to that is a new piece. A new piece with reinforced holes so that when um, you put the screw in there it's not going to shear off or break open over time like the old one did. So yeah, new piece right here. We're going to put that one in to this radio. So this is how we get started. Let's first start with taking off these screws. There's another screw right here. This do-it-yourself is for people that want to save a little money and also time because they want to do the repair themselves and not have to wait a week for their unit to come back if you wanted to send a test for the repair. Um, but do keep in mind you do need a small, thin screwdriver. Something very small, preferably magnetic. This one is not magnetic, but and you'll see when you have to put this back together these screws right here are very difficult to put in uh, without a magnetic tip I have to literally flip this upside down but we'll get that later so let's start here always be careful when you're taking these screws out especially these two because if you don't put enough pressure if you strip them you're pretty much out of luck because there's no way, real, real way to get down into that to take that screw out so you always want to put a nice amount of pressure because these are on really tight, as you heard. You can hear it crack. So don't underestimate this, especially this one. Once that's done, you're going to lift this out. And then the screws are still in their positions. We'll put that aside here. This is what you're going to have when you take it out. <clears throat> now we have to proceed to. Uh, oh, here we go. There's a perfect imagery of what's going on. This one is literally gone. There's no mount to save. It's in pieces. The pieces are probably lying around somewhere in here. But uh, the screw's missing too. And that's dangerous because the screw could easily go into one of these little circuitries and short it out. And that's no good either. So you want to get this fixed as soon as it happens. We got four screws. Two on the side. Two on the bottom. So let's start taking this one off. On the side. You may or may not see this. Now that that's off, we're going to want to release this clip. And just really make sure not to overshoot it because if you if your if your screwdriver slips and it breaks off the sleeve, then there's going to be nothing there to hold this on. Unplug it just like that. 
That's the only thing connecting the faceplate to the board. <clears throat> and now I'm just going to spread this portion right here. Whole front face comes off. Set this aside. Now we're going to work on this. So we're going to now continue to go through here. You can see clearly now the pointometer, how it mounts to this piece right here. And there's another one down at the bottom that is broken completely. So keep in mind here that there are different size screws. These that are mounting on the back aluminum plate are larger than the ones that hold on the board. Oh, I already unplugged this. This plugs in right there. You plug, unplug it. And let's take the screws off. Save these. The same way I took it off just now, that's the way you put it on. You scoop it up the top first and then put it down. So put that over here. Now we have a clear view of this. And this one right here is a 100% broken. The knob pulls off just like that. Here we go. Screw is still in there. Mounts are gone. A lot of sellers online will uh, actually repair this with super glue. Like I told you earlier, that's not the way to do it. That's just a workaround, and uh, it'll break again. Um, okay, so now we've got that off, we need to replace this piece. It's hidden. You gotta take off the all surrounding screws, make a mental note, two over here, and then there's two over here, and then there's the, the three crisscrossing in the center. Start on this side. Once you remove this panel, um, the buttons will be able to fall out. If you have sticky buttons, this is your time to clean them. Or if you, this one, oh, this one's a long one, the one that goes right here, it's extra long. Get that one right there. You got little clips right here holding on the board, so you just pick it up, board comes up, this one came with the rubber, it's a good time to clean the LCD because you don't leave that, that foggy shadow right there because it's hard to clean it when it's in the radio, uh, it's a good time to wipe it down, and also if there's any, any sticky buttons, um, we're going to we're gonna have to take this off because this has to go on down there. It's pretty straightforward. You can't really mess this up. You have to pick it up at an angle like this because if you put it down, the buttons get pressed and uh, it's hard to line them up. But we have to continue. Uh, we have three more screws and we'll be home free. So we got these. I like to keep them in little sets, like you see here, so that nothing gets lost. Now here's where the buttons can fall out. Buttons can easily be cleaned. All right, well here it is. There's the piece. Um, pull it off. Pop out the center piece. Throw that piece away. Useless. Grab the new piece, where'd that go, yeah, there's only one way it can go, put it on, grab that, grab this, put 
this on. These two, these three screws back in. And after we do this, we've got to make sure that the buttons are free. Yep. All the buttons are good. This is on. Now this rubber has uh, little holes everywhere where it lines up. Just do that. Let me clean up this actually. Because it's got, let me dab some water. Okay, so with it laying up like this, you're going to put it in, it just snaps on. And the reason why you want it to be up, and make sure you press right here because you got to clip those things on. The reason why you want it up is because, again, if you have it face down, while you're pressing, you're counteracting the buttons, so you're just not getting anywhere because you're just pressing the buttons. It's not actually putting the face onto the on, put the board onto the face. So once that's on, you're good. Let's put the most important one, which is the center one. It's right here because that's the only one that's different from all the other ones. That's done. Now I gotta put this on. Wait, getting ahead of myself. I gotta put this on. Gotta remove this screw. This always goes upside down. Just like that. Don't plug it in yet. You have to plug it in after you put it on that aluminum backing plate. Nice and tight, doesn't need to be super tight. This radio is missing one screw, so I have extra screws. The extra screw I had was a Torx, so same thing, makes no difference. Torx or Phillips. Feed these through the holes. Now, actually just clipped on just fine here. Let's see. Should just snap into place. Once it's snapped on up top, you gotta put these screws in. Perfect. That's the new piece installed. Put the volume knob on. Now connect the voltmeter connection. And we are done with this. Now we have to install it onto the 
main radio. You first are going to slide it on. This needs to these little tabs need to go underneath these. So screws Can't forget to plug in our radio. I mean our faceplate. So we got to just scoop it in. Just press it and straighten it with this. Sometimes it likes to be a little crooked, like that. You want it to be straight. And then press one side in, press the other. Keep working it until they're both in. Like that. Now you get your drive. My drive still has the uh, screws in it, so I'm going to dump it. There they go. Be careful with this. I like to grab it right here because it's a good place to securely grab it. It um, <clears throat> pretty much falls into place. Just gotta make sure it's lined up with with the uh, the holes. That is it. This is where having a magnetic tip would be handy. I simply put it on here. I flip it upside down, and I'm gonna go off screen for a second because I need to line it up with the with the hole. Just like that. Sometimes the screw falls, not a big deal. You don't have to tighten those super tight like they were initially. I've done this many times, so that was pretty easy. So let's do this. It scoops in on the front. The screw goes over here. Two big ones go on the back. That is it, my friends. This is ready to go. Um, make sure all the buttons are working. Obviously, you probably should do this in the beginning, uh, but these are all good. This is not going to break ever again. And again, this is going to fit the March of 2001 to 2006 E46 3 Series, the M3, 330, and 325, and all variety of body styles. As long as you have the uh, radio displayed, which is the CD53 CD player, if you have the older style CD player, which is the larger antenna connector, it won't work with that. If you want this part, visit us online at GermanAutoRecycling.com. You can also call me in person at 951-522-4032 if you have any questions about this or on how to install it. We can also do the installs for you if you want to send us your radio. Um, you can purchase the repair on our website as well. So 
Uh, thank you for watching this, and you have a good evening.